Hello and welcome back to Hi-Fi Lo-Fi. Try not to start the video mid-sentence this time. Dodgy editing last time. Right, so I've got some more goodies to show you. And as before, I'm not sure what's in each package, so just opening it for the first time. But I do know, of course, what I've ordered. Right, okay. A couple of cassette tapes, uh, which obviously I knew I'd ordered. But let's have a look to see what they are. Right, we have a TDK Disc Jack 40 DJ2. Now, I haven't seen an official explanation for why some of them have this number, um, like a couple of letters and then a number, but it appears from my observations to correspond to whether or not it's type 1 or type 2, that is uh, a normal or a high position. Uh, and in this case, it's a high position type 2, so I'm assuming that's what the two means. TDK Disc Jack, and I'm assuming that the DJ stands for Disc Jack and not Disc Jockey. Here we are. Okay, get a look at that. Freeze your, uh, pause your video now if that interests you. So I'm assuming also that it's new old stock. I don't believe these are made anymore. Oh, I got it. All right. Here we are. Clear. Slightly, well, basically clear. Now, slightly smoked uh, case. A folding inlay card. So potentially you could write on both sides. The best collection, interesting. Again, I don't. I just wish they wouldn't write stuff on there. I find it quite interesting though, it's fascinating, but uh, in terms of uh, information on the uh, inlay card, I just think that if you were, well, I suppose if you were going to write information on yourself, you'd have to turn it the other way, wouldn't you? Here we are, like that. Um, and the labels, here we are. Does this go either way? There's... No, it doesn't, this one. So this one just goes that way. Great, so TDK Disc Jack DG, DJ2 High Position Type 2. Uh, in case you're interested, um, this Japanese here says High Podgy because that's how they pronounce High, high Position. Well, they, I should say that they abbreviate the word position to Podgy. It's to do with Japanese pronunciation. And um, 40, so you got 20 minutes per side there. It's rather short, isn't it? 40 minutes, but I'm okay with it. Um, I'm interested in it. I noticed quite a lot of short, shorter tapes in Japan. There are, well, you probably saw, I, I've gone and destroyed the package in there, but you, um, you can get various tape lengths. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you on another one. And um, when I was growing up, and I, when I was into uh, cassette tapes originally, everything, uh, nearly everything I had was a 90 minute. And if it wasn't a 90 minute, it was sometimes a 60 minute. But I certainly never had anything except 90 minutes or 60 minutes. Though, having said that, for computer tapes, for loading software, especially games, um, sometimes we had some blank, sh very short 10-15 minute blank cassettes for saving 
programs and software and stuff like that with our home computer. So here we are, here's the next one, another TDK, 80, this, this one's doubled isn't it? This one's a, a double the size of the other one. So you've got an 80 minute one here. Um, Life on record I believe is uh, TDK's uh, slogan, I seem to remember that. Rather cute, um, perhaps uh, kitsch wrapper, but uh, no idea what it's all about and I don't know why that says book on it. Certainly I don't think you'd use it for um, an audio book or anything like that. Um, you wouldn't bother with a high position tape for that, would you? Anyway, uh, I just thought it was rather uh, an interesting outer wrapper on that. There we are. Not sure. There's a cat theme obviously going on here. Uh, again, hi Podgy, that says, what does it say on there? Kire ni... Uh, Gaku. I'm not sure that's it. But anyway, it's just saying clear, clear sound or something is basically what they mean. Clear, well, nice music, basically, or clear sound of music. Right. I'm reluctant. To, sorry to say, if you wanted to see what it looks like inside, I'm reluctant to remove the packaging on this because I think it looks rather unique, and I'm not ready to use it so I don't need to use any I've already unwrapped enough type 2's so if I find that I have a shortage of type 2's and I need to or I want to record on this tape then I will um, show show it being opened but um, yeah sorry because I'm, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna sell some of them on at some point but um, I'm collecting them at the moment the prices are creeping up slightly. I've been monitoring the prices and I bought uh, a load, you'll see a, video, a previous video, and I bought a load last year, uh, or some anyway, not, not too many. And um, the prices were slightly lower. Well I, well, I could get some for lower prices, but the prices have crept up very slightly. And um, there are fewer that I can find for sale as well. But there we are, pretty uh, interesting design on that one. TDK, by the way, is a Japanese company. Um, it's up in the north of Japan, uh, in Akita Prefecture. Right. Let's open this if we can. Um, I've sort of run a permanent marker over my private information. Right. Well, we've got more. Interesting. Got more of those tissues. I wonder if I ordered this from the same company. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I did. So that one I showed you in the last video. I actually ordered another one of those. And uh, this time they've given me three packs of tissues. How funny! So they gave me two packs of tissues last time, and they've given me a third pack. Maybe they're so whoever sold it, whoever's selling it, I forget who it is was so overjoyed that I'd ordered another one from them that they uh, gave me a pack of tissues, an extra pack, three packs this time. So I'm not going to open that because you can look at that in the, uh, the, in the previous video about uh, a week ago, maybe a few days ago. I don't need to open that, you can see that in the other video. Right. Right on the floor for now. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so let's have a look. Bubble wrap, nicely wrapped. Some information in there which I won't. It's got my private information on, so I'll look at that afterwards. Three, I've ordered three of the same. Here we are, CDing, TDK CDing 2. High position again, type 2 here. Three of these. This is my first time to have this particular one. I've never seen 
never had one of these before. I'm going to open one because I've got three of them, so um, I'm not going to open the other two. A nice design, I think. I'm going to throw that on the, throw that on the floor for now. Right. Well, isn't that nice? I think that's rather pleasant. Although, of course, it doesn't... I don't know, I don't think you'd really write on that, would you? Well, there, that, that theme is carried on to the shell there. It's quite nice, isn't it? Um, yeah, I, I, I like that. It's, um, yeah, it's a bit different, isn't it? This sort of translucent shell with the... Uh, yeah, very colourful, very um, stylish. Clearly a 60 minute, I think you've, you've ascertained that. What's inside? So, got our labels, our sticky labels there. Does this one go both ways? I don't think this one, well, that's the regular way to put it. Um, no, it doesn't. Okay, because maybe you've, you know and some of the videos I've done, you can see that you can put them in either way. Um, right, this is a single sheet inlay card, doesn't fold out. And, um, well, really, it's it's beautiful when you, when you unwrap it, but of course, you really need to turn it around when you want to write anything on it. But uh, yeah, nice that, I like that. I noticed this one, um, it's sort of cut away there, so they've really skimped on the uh, case there. Good, okay. Not sure what the years are on these. Um, I know there are websites that you, some people document these things and you can check, there, there is information on the internet where you can see what year they were manufactured and stuff like that. So I should show you, yes, I should show you that if you're interested. Um, right, yeah, there we are if that interests you. Well, here you can see the um, here you can see the options for the length of tape, starting at forty six minutes all the way up to one hundred and twenty minutes. Okay, what have we got here? Well, this one, uh, although it's wrapped, it wasn't padded or anything, no bubble wrap on that. This one is something that particularly interested me. Um, I think it's a very, uh, yeah, it's quite a stylish wrapper on that. And I had to look at this one. I looked this one up, this CDIX. Now, as you can see, it's a metal tape, uh, it's type four. 70 minute of course, that's what that means. I did look it up. I actually put a word out on uh, a group I'm in, mean, an online group. Nobody responded. I asked if anybody knew anything about this particular type of tape. And again, you can see what the uh, tape length options are for this particular type of tape. Yeah. I don't ever remember this one. I mean, none of the ones I'm showing you. Well, actually, I do remember, sorry, going back, I do remember UD, Maxell UDs. I do remember those. But the, so these other ones I've just shown you, I don't remember any of those. I think some of them, like uh, this kind of thing, is definitely unique to Japan. I, I just can't believe, you know, I, I just don't believe any. Well, I suppose maybe girls might buy it or something, but certainly... I don't think that would go down well with the average cassette tape using Joe Public. So, yeah, here we are. It's got the classic Sony logo on that. 
And as I said, I did look this uh, this up and I found a website, and if I can, I'll try and link to it uh, below, that uh, said this, I think, was manufactured in about 91, I believe. So, really interesting. Very interested in this one. Um, so I thought, yeah, I thought I'd get some metal tapes as well. Well, if you want me to open it, um, mm, not sure. I'm, I'm thinking about it because, uh, yeah, thinking about it. Not sure yet. Gosh, there's quite a few in here. Really, uh, oh, I've got some duplicates in here. Well, they really packed those in there, didn't they? Gosh. So, we've got another Sony. This is a Type 2, high position. 54 minute. There you go, if you want more information. I don't remember this CDIX series. So this um, this metal tape here is CDIX Type 4, CDIX Type 2. Just don't remember the CDIX series. Another one of those kitsch wrapped ones. Well, if I've got two, I suppose it should be a right to open one, shouldn't it? Well, there's obviously a pink thing going on here because we've got some more pink inside. Sort of a very light pink tint to that. Well, the, interestingly, the labels are totally plain. I was expecting something fruity, you know, but totally plain there. And again, this is cut away on the case here. And a single inlay card, which is really, you can only, you're only going to be able to write on one side and you're not going to be able to write much. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what that's all about because, you know, with all that printed info on there, that's just obviously totally unusable. And there's not really a lot of uh, space, not many lines there for you to write on. So, yeah, oh, they've got the cat theme going. Can you see that? They've got the cat theme continuing on the uh, shell there. It's quite interesting on both sides. Just do the test. Here we go. Nope. Okay. Right, so another of these TDK CDings. It's an odd time really, 74 minutes, and I was thinking about it. I wonder whether the reason is because back when CDs, of course, you know, being CDing, um, the, the suggestion is that you'd record CDs, which that's fine because I mean, CDs were up to 74 minutes when they first came out, uh, I believe, and then they increased, and I think they're, they're 80 now, aren't they? But I remember back in the day, CDs originally were 74 minutes, and the only thing with a CD is one sided, so if you're recording onto a cassette tape, from a CD that's more or less 74 minutes. Of course, at some point, you're going to have to stop the tape and uh, turn it over. And well, I mean, that could be automatic on some machines, but it could be in the middle of a song. There's no guarantee that, of course, halfway through the CD you're recording is a convenient break in the music, is there? There you go. You can see the um, time, uh, the tape length options there. And uh, it looks like a translucent white inside. Uh, 
But yeah, I've only got one of these, so yeah, I don't think I will open it um, for now. Because I'm going to have too many Type 2s open that I've, I haven't got to, uh, time to use. Right, another CDing too, this time 70 minutes. And um, yeah, very different styling, isn't it? Totally different. Again, you can see the uh, tape length options as low as 10 minutes for this and as high as 150 minutes. That's quite a range of uh, tape size, tape length options. What's this one? Well, this one, um, well, there you go. This one, the um, 46 minutes up to 120. Not really sure why. I mean, 10 minutes, well, as I understand it, the short cassette tapes we use for example, like in schools or, or some businesses and things like that. But, um, right, just to clarify, it's different to this other Sony, just to, in case you're wondering and you've forgotten already. And, uh, yeah, this um, CDIX series again, high position. Type 2. Uh, there you go, if you're interested in the back of that. And they've clearly put across the top the tape length option, starting at 20 minutes up to 120 minutes. I was always led to believe that the you know the, the higher the length, especially these, these 120 minute ones, that the tape was thinner in order to fit it inside the shell. And um, also that it put um, more strain on the motor or the belts in order to turn more tape. That's how, how I understand it. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, explain it below, link articles if need be. So um, anyway, that isn't especially why I chose this uh, 46 minute length. Um, my, but I do go for, yes, I don't, I don't go for high, generally speaking, I don't choose very long tapes, um, but uh, these shorter ones tend to be more readily available, easier to find. So yeah, Sony one there. Um, right, I don't think we can see much of what's going. That looks quite interesting here. Gosh, I'm keen to open that. It looks really interesting. Um, don't really need to open it, but I feel oh, this one's already slightly coming apart. So look at that. Very interesting indeed. Isn't that funky? Very interesting. Well, look at that. Well, that is interesting, isn't it? Absolutely. And the B side's different. So I mean, the design is different. It's rather interesting, there, isn't it? Definitely very interesting to see these. Very interesting design, certainly. Yeah, very interesting. Almost a scientific sort of uh, approach to that design. The stickers there. And the, uh, what did we say the time was on that? 46, didn't we? Yeah. Well, I'm assuming that a 46 minute tape was uh, aimed at people recording LP records because the average LP is around that length. Um, so, yeah, I, I, suppose, I suppose you'd record the A side of the LP on the A side of the cassette and the B side on the B side of the B side of the LP on the B side of the cassette, I suppose so. Just check the inlay card. Single, um, single sheet. Well, that's obviously, uh, you wouldn't really write much on there. You might be able to write a little bit across there, but um, yeah, not gonna. And, and uh, the other thing, of course, is this glossy uh, paper, this thick, glossy, heavy duty paper, or, or sort of almost like light card, is pretty difficult to um, write on with some pens. And I used to prefer to write in pencil because at some point if I was going to record over it I'd want to rub it out but um, 
that glossy, this glossy uh, paper, you can't write very well with pencil. It just doesn't seem to, um, um, you know, the, 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 the pencil material, which is usually graphite, isn't it? But we call it lead, but you know what I mean? Doesn't really um, stick to the paper. So that's rather uh, a problem sometimes. Um, yeah, very funky that, very interesting. Well, I'm sort of, after opening that, I feel a bit tempted to open that one, but yeah, I'm gonna resist the temptation if you don't mind, but it um, looks like it's black inside. And finally, um, TDK CV2 Casual and Versatile. All right, okay, really. Well, if you look at that, it looks like they might have some different kind of opening mechanism on the case. Very interesting. Again, 74 minutes, so um, it's, yeah, it's got, you know, they're suggesting you record from CD. Right, how do we open it? Ah, here we are. Ah, it's one of those, yeah, it's one of those really annoying ones. That I might have to get, I've got scissors on standby. No, I can't get it off. Right, I've got scissors on standby for this eventuality. There we are. Okay. Um, right, this is very interesting. So, I have seen others, and I have owned um, other types of case uh, to the uh, convention and um, so let's do this how do we do this without breaking I'm, I don't want to force it and break it um, all right I see oh there we are well how about that for something different not sure what the merits are but um, just something different something interesting you know going against the norm and of course Presumably, well, that of course that's okay. Um, that's all going to change. But can it do it that way? Let's have a look. Uh, I think it can actually. No, it can't. No. So it's only that way. Very interesting. Slightly smoked plastic on that case, and uh, yeah. There we are, if you're interested. How about the inlay card and the stickers, the labels? Um, there we are. Plenty going on there. That's the sort of thing, some of that is what I remember. I mean, yeah, that's something I've seen before. Of course, the inlay card is different because it has to match the case. So the inlay card is rather unusual. And I wonder, of course, when they make something different that is not conventional, um, then it's going to have not just, are they setting up a factory to make a different kind of case, but they're having to then also set their machines to make different kinds of inlay cards as well. Uh, this is the first that I've seen of a case that opens like that. I have owned other cassette tapes. Uh, hang on, was that right? Was that, no. Yeah, that was right, okay. I've owned other cassette tapes with different kinds of cases, but not one like this. Yeah, that concludes it, and uh, this has been Hi-Fi Lo-Fi. Thanks for watching.